Elon Musk, for the first time in years, isn't tweeting about victory. He's staring at a number. A number so clean and devastating, it threatens everything Tesla has built. 46.6% thermal efficiency, a figure that makes Toyota's engineers fidget. A number that slices through the electric vehicle industry like a scalpel. And it belongs to BYD. No, this isn't clickbait. This isn't speculation. This is the sound of tectonic plates shifting under our tires. We're not talking about some obscure startup clawing for relevance. We're talking about a company born in the smog-choked skyline of 1995 Shenzhen. Just a tiny firm soldering battery packs by hand. Nobody outside China cared. But this little beast called Build Your Dreams, BYD, didn't just survive. It exploded. Quietly. Ruthlessly like a silent virus rewriting the DNA of the global auto industry. Fast forward 30 years, BYD is no longer the underdog, it's the alpha. And in 2025, it's unleashing a weapon the industry wasn't prepared for. The fifth generation DM hybrid powertrain, a powertrain that doesn't just blur the line between gas and electric, it erases it. And if you're driving anything else, be it a Tesla, a Toyota, a Honda, BYD just made your car feel like a rotary phone in the age of neural implants. 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, that's 81 miles per gallon. That's an extinction-level event for range anxiety, the kind of number that makes gas stations weep and battery startups panic. This new hybrid tech pushes the SEAL 06 DMI in Chinol DMI to a mind-bending 2,000 kilometers on a single charge and tank. New York to Chicago, and halfway back again, without refueling, without recharging. This isn't the future, this is now. Tesla's flagship Model S taps out at 405 miles per Tesla's own 2024 data. That's one-fifth the range. You'd have to stop four times to catch up. And this isn't a budget-to-performance trade-off. We're talking 10-minute charging, blade batteries that survive nail penetration tests, Powertrains engineered entirely in-house, no outsourcing, no partnerships, just vertical integration so tight it could suffocate a legacy automaker. Now imagine you're Maria Gonzalez, a nurse in Southern California, commuting 60 miles daily, packing lunch to afford gas. A Tesla? Still $40,000 minimum, but a BYD Seagull? $10,000. With touchscreen navigation, safety tech, in fuel economy that saves her $2,000 a year, suddenly she's not choosing between rent and a reliable car. She's building savings. She's dreaming bigger. Now picture Tom Riley in Detroit, 20 years at the Ford assembly line. He's watching BYD ship hundreds of thousands of vehicles into America, and the shifts at his plant are getting shorter. He's not dumb. He sees what's coming. A United Auto Workers report from early 2025 warns that 100,000 jobs could be lost if Chinese hybrids flood the market. The American dream, his dream, is wobbling. And he's not alone. Because this isn't just a car war. It's a technological tsunami. BYD's $100 billion valuation? That's not hype. That's Warren Buffett's portfolio talking. A man who's held BYD stock since 2008 and just doubled down in March 2025. Why? Because he sees what others missed. Tesla, valued at $600 billion, has become the benchmark, uh, but it's vulnerable. Musk's own February 1st ex-post read, Competition fuels innovation. But behind those words? Fear. A fear you can measure in stock price volatility, in leaked memos, in urgent meetings at Giga Texas. BYD isn't just launching cars. It's detonating them into the market. It's 10,000 Seagull EV, 10,000 pre-orders in a single day. In a market where Tesla's entry-level Model 3 starts at $40,000, that's not a price difference. It's a revolution. That's an extra $30,000 in your pocket. Enough for a down payment on a house, a year of college tuition, or a financial cushion in an economy where inflation eats dreams like candy. And this is global. BYD's buses now roam the streets of Germany, Brazil, France, and Malaysia. In Europe alone, 50,000 electric buses. Tesla doesn't even play in that arena. BYD is in 60 countries, 
with 25% year-over-year sales growth, according to 2024 Statista data. This is not expansion, it's conquest, and it all flows back to the core of BYD's brilliance, control. They don't just make the car, they make everything, the batteries, the motors, the semiconductors, the software. It's all theirs. That's why they can undercut everyone else by 30%, according to McKinsey's 2025 supply chain report. No middlemen, no friction, just frictionless dominance. And the geopolitical shockwaves? They're enormous. The U.S. Geological Survey states BYD controls 37% of the global battery market. That makes them more than a car company. It makes them a strategic threat to American and European supply chains. Tesla depends on lithium. BYD refines it. Volkswagen pours $120 billion into EVs. BYD outsold them in China. Toyota bets $13.6 billion on solid-state batteries that promise 745 miles. BYD's hybrid just quietly leapfrogged them with 2,000 kilometers and real-world readiness today, not 2030. This is what keeps Elon up at night. In Shanghai, Tesla showrooms are now flanked by seagulls, BYD's cheap, cheerful, devastatingly efficient city EVs. Consumers stroll in, see the price, and pivot. Musk sees it happening. He tweeted again on March 5th, we will innovate faster, teasing a Tesla counter. But even innovation needs time, and BYD is already on its fifth generation of this tech. Toyota's only now entering production on solid state. Tesla's still chasing 600 miles. And while we wait, the market bleeds. Gas stations, already projected to lose 15% of their revenue by 2030, are eyeing extinction. EV charging firms like Electrify America and ChargePoint, they're booming. Oil titans like ExxonMobil, valued at $400 billion, are bracing for a future that doesn't need them. According to the EIA, the transition isn't just inevitable, it's accelerating. Entire economies will be reshaped by one single glaring truth. Who owns the energy of motion? And BYD has a death grip on it. The seismic change is already unfolding. It's not dramatic or cinematic. It's not a single breaking headline. It's a million quiet moments. A consumer choosing the cheaper car. A factory laying off workers. A family affording their first EV. An oil exec realizing the pump is no longer king. This isn't just about technology. This is about power. Who has it? Who loses it? Who takes it next? And in 2025, that crown doesn't belong to Elon Musk. It belongs to BYD. So let's go back to that 2,000-kilometer figure for a moment. That number isn't just technical bragging. It's a dagger aimed directly at the beating heart of the EV anxiety era. You feel it, don't you? That tension before a long drive, the app hopping, the frantic search for chargers. Every EV owner knows it. BYD looked that fear dead in the eye and vaporized it. This isn't a step forward. It's a giant leap, and it's laced with something deeper. Something Elon Musk has quietly feared for years. Obsolescence. The powertrain they've dropped into the world isn't just efficient. It's poetic. 46.6% thermal efficiency is like finding a mythical creature in the engineering world. Every fraction of a percent requires monstrous R&D, material science breakthroughs, and thermal control mastery. Toyota spent over a decade to hit 41%. Honda's capped at 40%. But BYD, they just flew past them all like they were standing still. And while those giants were cautiously stepping, BYD sprinted through the fire built every component in-house, from the blade battery to the silicon carbide chips running the power electronics. It's not just vertical integration, it's vertical domination. Now imagine being in Tesla's seat. For over a decade, Tesla wrote the rules. They defined what it meant to be an electric car. Model S, Model 3, Model Y. They weren't just cars, they were cultural icons. And yet now, in the shadow of a $10,000 seagull, with tech that trumps theirs in multiple categories, Tesla finds itself playing defense. Elon Musk knows the playbook is changing, and fast. No longer is sleek design and raw acceleration enough. The game is now about endurance, efficiency, cost, 
and BYD just flipped the entire chessboard. But this isn't just Elon versus BYD. This is East versus West, an ideological clash hiding beneath metal and wires. In China, government-backed infrastructure, aggressive subsidies, and brutal industrial discipline forge BYD into a machine that doesn't blink. In the West, regulatory hurdles, shareholder expectations, and a slower gear-turning democracy mean companies move carefully. Too carefully. And now they may be too late. Look around. In Brazil, BYD's electric buses are replacing diesel fleets at a record pace. In Germany, they've already outsold Volkswagen EVs in key markets. In the UK, taxi companies are switching to BYD en masse because of low maintenance and insane range. In Thailand, in Chile, in Egypt, BYD is landing like a precision strike, offering something that legacy automakers can't touch. Not just a product, but a promise. We can electrify your world faster, cheaper, and smarter. And then there's the ripple effect. Think about Maria, that nurse in California we met earlier. She's not just saving on gas. She's reclaiming time. She doesn't need to hunt for chargers after long shifts. No more waiting for slow chargers while juggling groceries and her kid's soccer practice. That seagull isn't a car. It's a lifeline. It's freedom. Multiply that by millions of families worldwide, and suddenly this isn't a market trend. It's a civilizational shift. But what happens to the ones who can't pivot fast enough? Think Detroit. Think Dearborn. Think the thousands of machinists, line workers, logistics teams, and engineers who've spent generations perfecting gas engines. Engines now facing extinction. A report by the UAW in March 2025 said it best. This is not a transition. Noma, this is a reckoning. They estimate over 100,000 jobs could vanish in the next 24 months if Chinese hybrids saturate the market. That's not just an economic hit. It's a cultural wound. Tom Riley knows it. Standing outside a Michigan plant, he's gripping a thermos of cold coffee, staring at a parking lot with fewer cars every week. If BYD keeps selling these for 10 grand, he says, Ford won't stand a chance. My kid's birthday's next week. I can't even think about it right now. That's the human side of disruption, the side the headlines don't scream, but your gut still feels. And let's not forget the oil titans. Gas stations that once lined every highway exit like blinking lifelines now face a slow, inevitable decline. The EIA forecasts a 15 to 20% drop in gas revenue by 2030. OPEC nations are watching their influence slip away one hybrid at a time. ExxonMobil's profits could drop by tens of billions. Pipelines that once fed economies now look like relics of an age we're sprinting away from. Meanwhile, BYD's expansion isn't slowing. They're gobbling up lithium contracts in Chile, locking cobalt supply in Congo, and leading battery innovation with AI-powered diagnostics that predicts cell failure before it even begins. Their blade battery? It passed nail penetration tests, a brutal torture test, without exploding, a feat few in the world can claim. That's not just better performance. That's peace of mind. And then there's the cost curve. A BYD Seagull costs just over $10,000. That's nearly one-fourth the price of a Tesla Model 3. For many buyers, that's not a choice. It's a no-brainer. It's the difference between getting an EV or staying stuck in the gas age. It's the price gap that could crater Tesla's lower-tier market dominance unless Musk acts fast and radically. So what does he do? Well, on March 5th, 2025, Elon posted on X, We will innovate faster. Competition fuels greatness. Over 1.8 million people liked that post, but many were reading between the lines. Was it bravado or desperation? There's a rumor of a new Tesla platform aimed to cut manufacturing costs by 40%. There's talk of a radical battery chemistry breakthrough using manganese. But that's all still on the horizon. Right now, BYD is living the future while others theorize it. Even Toyota, with its $13.6 billion solid-state battery program, feels the squeeze. Yes, 745 miles on a single charge sounds jaw-dropping, but that's in 2027 at best. BYD's 2,000-kilometer range is happening now. It's not a prototype. It's on the streets, in the hands of consumers, and it's rewriting what's possible, what's expected, and what's demanded. And here's something else. 
This battle isn't just automotive, it's planetary. The global auto market is $400 billion today. By 2030, it could be $1 trillion. Whoever controls the propulsion controls the future. And BYD? They built their fortress on the high ground. Unmatched range, lowest fuel consumption, vertical control of supply chains and global scale. While Tesla refines, BYD unleashes. In Shanghai, it's now common to see Tesla stores with BYD seagulls parked outside like predators circling prey. It's symbolic, it's visual, it's real. The competition isn't coming. It has arrived and it's not knocking politely. It's kicking down the door. And yet the most mind-bending twist is what happens after the engine. Because BYD isn't just stopping at better cars. Puah, they're preparing for something even bigger. A connected transportation grid powered by AI, edge computing, and autonomous swarms. They've filed patents for decentralized EV coordination systems. Imagine traffic that organizes itself. Cars that negotiate intersections without traffic lights. A city that breathes like a living organism. That's the end game. In the hybrid engine, it's just the Trojan horse. So as the dust settles and the road to the future stretches forward, one question remains. Not who will win, but who's already losing. BYD's rise isn't a fluke. It's the result of vertical integration, brutal efficiency, and a long-term strategy no Western automaker fully anticipated. Unlike Tesla, which relies on partners for batteries and some drivetrain components, BYD controls nearly every part of its vehicles, from the blade battery tech to the hybrid powertrain and semiconductors. That control lets them innovate fast, cut costs deeply, and react to market shocks with terrifying speed. Their fifth-gen DM hybrid engine achieves 46.6% thermal efficiency, higher than any other production powertrain globally. It enables a 2,000-kilometer range by blending electric and combustion intelligently, eliminating traditional EV bottlenecks like charging time and infrastructure limitations. You don't need a dense supercharger network if you can drive from New York to Miami on a single tank and charge. Add the $10,000 Seagull EV into the mix, a car that undercuts the cheapest Tesla by $30,000, and you see a clear future forming. It's not just about EV versus gas anymore. It's about who can solve real-world problems like affordability, energy security, and grid resilience. Today, BYD's 37% control of global battery production, according to USGS, gives them leverage that reaches into American and European supply chains. Automakers like Ford, GM, and Volkswagen suddenly look like they're dancing around a volcano. BYD isn't just a threat, they're a shadow empire built quietly over two decades, now stepping into the light. And while Tesla talks about its next-gen $25,000 EV, BYD already shipped theirs and made a profit. This isn't just a car war, it's a technological cold war playing out in showrooms and stock markets. If Tesla, Toyota or Ford don't counter this soon, it's not just Elon Musk who should be worried. It's the entire Western auto industry. The engine that just dropped in 2025, it's not a model, it's a warning.